Hey, I'm Steve. I came home from work today and my son says, Dad, there's a new RK-74. There's an RK-74, you gotta go check it out. And I was like, nah, I don't think so. Because we've been talking about it. We like the 55, we like the 37s, but we really want something a little bigger so that we can do a Baylor or, or a, you know, something like that. And, and so I teased him a little bit, told him he was wrong. And then we came out here to Rural King and we just happened to be at one that has it. And what do you know? It's an RK-74. So that's cool. We're still holding out for like the 95 or the 100. We think that'd be cool. And we figure RK is probably working on it. But I just want to tell you about it, give you a first look. I looked on YouTube. I didn't see any anybody else did a video yet. So you can check it out in case you're not near an RK. Um, a couple cool things, a lot of cool things on this tractor. Uh, on this loader, of course, you got the nice big bucket. Um, what I really like though, we've got the, uh, the quick disconnect like the skid steers have. My tractor home doesn't have that, so I gotta drive pins out, never wanna hook anything else up. This one's got that quick disconnect, so we can put on all kinds of stuff real easy, or I could tell my son, hey, get out there and change that front for me, change that bucket, put the forks on, or the grapple like that one has. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. I saw most of the RKs, I think all the RKs have that. Self-leveling bucket. Again, another thing I don't have in mine at home, I wish I had that, but I don't. Um, I like this. I'm not sure I needed it all the time, but I wish I had this on mine so that I can see where my bucket is when I'm trying to load or something like that, trying to get the uh, grade just right. Um, I also noticed it's got the quick disconnect loader, so if I want to go out and do some hay uh, or do some kind of work without the loader in the way, I can quickly take that off, got the little leg to support it. The disconnects on the hoses are right down here. I do suspect this will be a part that would have to be replaced a lot not doing just open field or you're in the woods or you know anything like that that's probably gonna get bent off but it looks like it's hooked on pretty easily so I bet they got those in the parts supply probably sell a bunch of them eventually um, I read on this one it's only five-year warranty instead of the eight-year warranty which is something on the RKs I really like but this one's got a Deutz uh, so we'll open the hood here and see what that looks like I noticed the um, the front little push bar here is not a quick release, so you've got to just uh, turn these little bolts, which probably okay, but I bet they disappear eventually. I would rather have like a little spring-loaded latch or something. On this, I just pull this, and then I gotta lift it, and it takes over. It is turbocharged. It's a four-cylinder. Of course, you got your AC. Uh, all the radiators and such, intercoolers are all in the front. Computers up there in the front, where it's gonna need a lot of airflow stay away from the heat which is nice um, I look at around this engine I didn't see a def tank anywhere so I'm suspecting this one doesn't need the def either that or they hid the tank really well looks like you got pretty good access back in here you won't need that for five years but uh, after that somebody's gonna have to work on this thing it looks like it's actually pretty accessible I've seen a lot of tractors much worse than that really impressed with the size of the axle it's got a nice large front axle got the hydraulic steering here which is good tires like this you're gonna need that for sure really clean I don't see a lot of stuff hanging out I like how this is up high on the axle it's not hanging down some tractors put it down some put it in the back I like how that's up nice and high I think that's gonna be good for ground clearance and for running over things especially if you're in the woods moving some tree branches or something I mean that stuff gets hung up on everything so I, I really like that part of it I think that's gonna be pretty good looking around the back here as we keep moving it's one thing about the RKs I'm not real wild about is you do lose some ground clearance, I think, with these support bars. And you'll see when we get to the back, they use these support bars for the three-point. Um, but I just think that that's something that's probably going to end up being a damage point or getting stuck on things at some at some point, depending on how you use your tractor. If you actually get out in the, <coughs> the deep stuff, you're probably going to end up having an issue with that at some point. Uh, but if it's strong enough, it may not matter. Uh, this one's locked. And I haven't gone to see the manager yet. We'll get that on another video. We'll get inside it, we'll tell you about the inside later. The inside's basically like the RK55. Um, so if you've been in a 55, the inside of this looks pretty much the same from what I'm seeing through the window. And my son tells me that the manager will let us drive them too. I haven't tried that yet, so we may have to give that a try. Um, one thing he pointed out, uh, my son pointed out to me is that he said, hey dad, Look, if you ever had to work in this transmission, you just take this tire off and you have a lot of access there. And he's right, there is a lot of room in there. Be easy to clean out. It would be easy to get access to if you had to work on. There's a couple filters under there that look pretty simple to get to. 
So that's pretty nice. We got the plastic fenders. I guess they're fiberglass maybe. Looks like fiberglass. I guess time will tell if those things hold up or not. Um, they're pretty stout, but still flexible, which might be good if you were to hit something. That'll probably hold on pretty well, I guess. A couple places for buttons, but those are not buttons. Those are fakes. Maybe that's like future. They're going to come out with something. Who knows? Uh, looking back here at three points. So again, my son's really up on this stuff. He's got all day to watch YouTube and learn all these things. I have to work for a living. But he tells me about this. But he was pointing out a lot of cool stuff that our tractor doesn't have, which is another reason we might have to buy one. We've got the extensions. I always have to get up and move it just a little bit or pull the pull the implement closer so that's pretty nice he pointed this out to me i like this so we can slide that in or out this one's a little stiff but i think you know after a little bit of use it'll probably work out of course it has this tab to make it easy to turn looks like it's strong too that's that's quarter inch steel welded on there that thing will probably hold up pretty well um we have we have up here uh so so say you're not exactly lined up right. They've got this lever, you push it up and it goes down. So I like that. That looks like it's good, it's up high. I don't think it'll really get busted. You can pull up with the arms up high and then let those down, probably uh, save you a little bit of time in and out of the cab. Up here on the, the uh, top link, I have not seen this before. My son seems to know about it, I have not seen it. Kinda cool. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the design is for, just to make it easy maybe, or they're gonna put a pin in there. He'll probably tell me. But anyways, looks good. Looks like it'd be easier than having just this and having to go through it. Um, let's see, I showed you those things already. Looking at the back, you got the washer fluid tank back there, a little toolbox. I noticed this one's got extra pins in it. You can see over here, there's uh, electrical connections for pulling trailers and such. Probably some implements too. Um, nice and clean. Looks like a strong rear end. Looks like that rear end would hold a lot of weight. Brochure says 5,000 pounds and I think like 3,000 coming out at 24 inches. So it should be able to lift a lot of weight back here, but that looks like that would hold up a long time. It looks to me like that that really is uh, a pretty strong design. Not a lot of places to get a bunch of dirt. You're going to have, of course, some stuff up in here, but I've seen a lot of tractors where this is all cluttered and not really accessible. This looks like it's pretty accessible, so I think that's going to be a, a good design that's going to turn out well. Rear windshield wiper, lights, vented windows, which we would all expect, kind of standard things. I like the ag tires. We looked it up on mine before we came here and had the R4 tires like this uh, 55 next to us. I like the R4 tires for a lot of things, but I think on this tractor, these ag tires look a lot better. They do have the beet juice in them. We pulled this off and, and uh, found the goo coming out of the little cap there so it does look like they have the beet juice in these tires they did say online they had that um, again another step I think will be a problem then they put the fuel tank right here I don't know maybe I'm the only one that hits stuff on the bottom of this tractor but I'm always scraping logs and sticks and stuff the bottom of my tractor so you know I think that tank is a uh, it looks like a nice tank and easy access to put fuel in but I kind of think maybe you hit it you know it could get damaged there some of the other RKs have it up in the back on top behind the three point. I kind of like that better. Got the exhaust up here on the top. Um, looks good. Definitely looks good. Tractor should have an exhaust sticking up like that. That's what I think. They should all have that. Even if it was fake. As long as it can smoke, it's good. It's being tier four, I don't know if this one will smoke, but it still looks good. Uh, on this side of the engine, it's not as much access because you got all your turbo <laughs> your exhaust in there. You got the AC compressor, the alternator over here. It's a little oil filter down there. It's painted black, so you can't really see it too well, but it's down there. I think still accessible enough. And if you had to get back in there, you could take the loader off and probably do pretty well. This is just the other side of the front. Kind of the same things over here on the opposite side. So overall, let's go ahead and shut this lid. that back up overall I'm impressed my first look on this tractor I think it's a pretty good tractor uh, for about 43,000 bucks you can get a lot of tractor for that money I think you can do a lot of work with it uh, you know there, there's always going to be a better tractor out there but I, I'm impressed with what RK is doing I'm glad to see they're on the market uh, I'd like to see how they're putting components together between the Yanmar engines and the Deutz engines and 
you know, tires that are made here in the States and stuff. I like how they're doing that. So I hope they keep doing it. I hope they get a bigger tractor. So that's my first thought. If you can't see one in person, at least this will help you look and see what you think. Check them out. If you like RP tractors, look them up online and I'll plan on doing some more reviews too so you can see what they're like.